How's it going guys? My name is Dominic and for you guys today I'm bringing you the best Town Hall 9 farming attack strategy here and it's on your screen right now that's all the troops you need along with 4 healing spells so if I just give you the numbers for how much this attack actually costs this attack costs 197,600 elixir and 760 dark elixir that is if you're using spells as well me, I'm training of course, four heal spells and the poison spell here. I haven't started cooking that up, but those are spells you will need. And if you're trying to save up elixir, then I wouldn't really rec recommend this strategy because if you're hitting stuff up to about 300 elixir, 300,000 elixir raids, then you're only going to really make 100,000 elixir profit. That is if you use every all the heal, all if you train all the spells. My bad there. But anyway, yeah. So this, if you're aiming for gold or even dark elixir, this is a brilliant strategy to use because you, not only do you get the outside of a base, but you get the inside loot as well, which I will be bringing to you in these quick replays here. So first one I'm just going to show you is um, is this one here, the one I hundred percented, and this one is a very weak base, but as you, fair enough, Barch would get into that base, but not always you know you get these kind of bases which they are abandoned at the moment but people put those collectors inside and their defenses outside more and it is a struggle to get all of it which barge so i'll just fast forward it this one i had all my spells ready but i didn't use all my spells i never used a single spell here because it was a weak one i didn't really need to use my hog riders at the end there as you can see but I thought might as well just get this done quickly, might as well try and keep my king and queen good health and sadly for the king I did lose about 70, I mean 25% of his health but queen was full health right there. So that is just the first one on a weak base, 100% did. I do like drop down trophies you can see sometimes, I just end the raid and lose trophy. Actually no that one was a fail, never mind that. But <laughs> so. Second attack, as you can see, um, I'm gaining nine hundred over nine hundred thousand resources. Not much dark elixir here. That is a shame, but at the moment I'm really focused on gold because I am upgrading my walls, trying to get them all to level nine at the moment. But yeah, so if I just put this on times two speed, I place on the giants, put the, most of my archers down behind a line of them, then my archer queen, then I put down my king later on there and. Yeah, it's all just going good as well. The Hog Riders come in, you have to put them in one bunch because a ten, a group of 10 isn't too effective, but it is good. So if I put them down now, as you can see, put three heal spells where you think the giant bombs are going to be. At this stage, you don't need any. And yeah, it's, it's just a great strategy. King and Queen, once again, they're both in really good health. I can easily use them for the next raid without them any damage. I'm I don't even know, I think only one hog rider, hog rider died there. But, yep, again, look, I got every single bit of that loot there. Demolished his base, ended at 99% because I don't want the trophies. And they just get annoying when I keep getting, when I keep pushing too high on these attacks. So you can see in this last one, I do get. This is a about an yeah eight hundred thousand over eight hundred thousand loot available here, and as you can see the dark elixir in the middle. That was something I was looking that pushed me to do this attack. But as you maybe can tell, look, there's nothing in not much in the storages. I don't think there's hard, there's that much, but that's why this is where the strategy is best at. You can so if I start it off now, you use uh, this one. I did use every single one of my spells, but. So, yep, so the poison spell goes down here and just put it back to times two speed again. Now I've put down all those hog rides, so quite a lot got springed off. The first heal spell goes down. When you use the heal spells, you're really gonna, when you wanna use all heal spells, you're gonna want to put at least two or, or three of the heal spells with the hogs and one with the giants. I was trying to wait here for the hog riders and giants to come together so I could blend it but and the hog riders were in the fire of action at that time so I had to heal them but they all they did all die off and now the giants are all low health but as you can see from the loot I've gained I've gained every single bit of that dark elixir gained almost every single bit of that elixir and the gold is just seconds away from being taken as well and this is again I just again I just end it on 
99% 1 star which may annoy the attacker even more because I think he's a farmer as well being the base he has and the level he's at but yeah it's just a brilliant attack strategy for farming when you're going for gold see I'm trying to do my level 9 walls I finally got all my level 7 walls gone because I was the worst rusher at Town Hall 9 that was once I went into Town Hall 9 I went into Town Hall 9 with pink walls so this is a brilliant step forward for me getting rid of all those purple pink walls and now I'm onto the big boy walls as I call them but yeah so that's it from me anyway hope you enjoyed this attack strategy it is amazing leave a like share it and anyway that's it from me guys and peace